<laughs> hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. I'm excited to have these three beautiful, bright, brilliant, uber talented uh, realtor friends on the show with me. They're really friends and they're realtors. We have Elena Rivera, Christina Peacock, and Wendy Wagner on the show. I did it right, right? All alphabetical order. They just recently formed their own brokerage, Exit Global Realty, and we're going to learn about their journey. But if you don't know them, you are missing out because they're everywhere. Even before they form their own brokerage, they're everywhere. Uh, and they're just amazing human beings. So welcome to the show, ladies. It's so weird. I can't turn and look at you, but hey, we can see. <laughs> we can see. Though. Yes. Um, we have champagne. So cheers to you all in my big solo cups. Cheers. Happy holidays. Cheers. Happy holidays. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Uh, and happy new year. Uh, so today, what I wanted to do is really kind of get the story because you all came together, three very independent um, thinkers, and you came together and you formed your own group, your own brokerage, your own franchise. I'm not sure the wording, but you'll correct me. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to introduce each of you and tell us a little bit about you. We'll start alphabetically. It's easier for the old man. Uh, Elena first. All right. So Elena Rivera um, from Minnesota. Moved here in 2015. I got my real estate license and I've been wanting to just take over and help serve other people in so many different capacities, which is where my passion for real estate and serving others and, and growing and advocating for, for those with housing and funding. So I'm here. You're here. Serving my passion. You're serving your passion. You could even use that as an analogy because you are involved in volleyball, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes. So serving, oh, yes. serving. your passion. Yeah, yeah, See? Yeah. I'm okay. thinking it's right now. It's only my second glass like of champagne. It. So stay it tuned is. for more as it goes along. All right. Uh, thank you. And Christina Peacock, how about you? Um, hi, I'm Christina, and I'm actually a Florida native, born right here in Winter Park, graduated Bishop Moore High School, and have pretty much stayed here my whole life. I love Central Florida, and I can't see myself really moving anyplace else. So lifetime of connections, and I had gotten licensed about 10 years ago and tried to do um, real estate while I was working full time and had three teenagers. That didn't work out so well. Um, so I kind of put it on the back burner, but um, my grandmother really encouraged me to, um, to jump back in once the kids were grown. And so that's what I did. I was working um, a a great, I was um, at the Seminole County Chamber and for five years, loved it. And, but it was just time to kind of move on and branch out. And I reached out to Elena and um, on Facebook and said, Hey, can you tell me about your brokerage? And so I ended up over with her. And then the three of us, actually, Wendy and our, our kids went to school together. Small um, world. But yeah, small, small world. world. So I don't know. We just all bonded. Um, Hurricane Ian actually had a lot to do with that. Uh, <laughs> these fabulous ladies came every weekend and helped me demo a place that um, was flooded and ruined and didn't have insurance. And so um, it was, you know, I don't know. We just You clicked. bonded. You clicked. clicked. And I want to talk about that. It's a um, forever click. I believe it's a forever click. You can tell you guys have an amazing relationship. All right, we'll get to that though. Let me have Wendy introduce herself and tell us a little bit about her. Wendy's got the um, hat on, which I love. I know. All right, here. Wendy Wagner, tell us about you. Hey there, I'm Wendy Wagner. So I was born in Pennsylvania, adopted, moved here when I was four though. So I've been in Florida since I was four, which you know was like 1982. Um, <laughs> I was going to say 2000, right? I was an owner operator of a construction company for 26 years in central Florida Wow! and had some life changing things occur in my life and got my real estate license because I was an investor. I've been an investor for 32 years and I decided to stop paying other people for investment properties. Smart. So I got my license. Eh, five years ago, I decided that I should work the license actually <laughs> and make money. So I started doing that. And then I met these two wonderful women and my two awesome boys told me, just take the leap, mom, do it. You should do it. You're meant for better things. Do it. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Love today. That. 
I love, and what, what I, thank you. And I, what I love about y'all stories is individual, you came together, you know, if, you don't, if you don't think that Central Florida is really one of the smallest towns on the planet, everybody knows everybody in some oh, way, shape gosh. or form. So be careful when you're talking ish about other people out there, because <laughs> I can tell you're sitting across from someone who probably knows <laughs> that person. Very All right, so early. let's talk about coming together. One of the things we, we talk a lot about um, women, empowering women on the show a lot was, and it can be a challenge in any business. How was it for, for three very strong uh, minded and in my opinion, powerful women to come together and be partners in a brokerage? What was that process like? Did you have a lot of back and forth? Did you have a lot of powwows? Uh, talk a little bit about that. And I'll let anybody take it who wants to. Lots of powwows. Lots of powwows. Um, one of the advantages that we have as a trio is that we're each gifted in different ways mm -hmm. and those gifts complement each other. And so you, you know, really playing to each other's strengths has been a, a huge advantage and very pivotal to our very fast growth. Um, and so I love that we don't all think the same. We have the same goal, but we don't get there in the same way, <laughs> which sometimes can be like, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> but I know that I know that Elena, I know that Wendy, I know that myself, I know we all have that same same goal at the end and we have the same passion and we all love serving others. And so it works, so, you know, yeah, of course, there's going to be some bumps in the road, but, of you know, course. for, you know, for the majority of everything, we're, you know, everyone's very agreeable. Even if it's not something like the way I would do it, somebody else wants to do it away. Okay, do it. But what I love about that is that you're you're you understand that you actually have recognized that. A lot of times people get into partnerships and they're like, "Hey, we're opposites attract. We can do this together." And then they have absolutely no communication. Um, it's a challenge to communicate. You all know that about each other. So you mentioned strengths. If I can ask each of you, what do you feel like your strength is bringing it? Uh, to the brokerage, bring it to the partnership. Wendy, I'll start with you. Um, my strength probably is the attention to details such as contracts, et cetera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> the numbers, she the handles numbers. Our, our, our money. I'm, I'm nice. the QuickBooks guru. I'm the, so IT. Those sort, and I'm also the IT person in awesome. our office. Left also, brain. A lot of left brain, a lot of left brain. Yes. That's awesome. Yes, I'm very left brain. That's why she's um, over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that is why she's over there. <laughs> so that is my strong suit. That's there. The two of them both have things that I am not great at. And I will tell you, I'm not great at them. They're not for me. So I love it. I try to stay in my lane. I leave my lane occasionally. Well, we all I do. Of course I do. Yeah. So do. How about it's, you, it's Elena? Good. What's, we, what's your, what do you feel like your strength What do I is? bring? I mean, well, I speak Spanish, so I that's a big a deal. Another you breed. Can, you can. Um, I just think that I bring a different energy to any room and any capacity that I serve in. Um, I love everyone. And I, I think a lot of agents, not just with exit, but outside, they feel that and not just agents and realtors, but other individuals in it's our true. community with someone on county chamber with nara with everyone i serve with it's they all become family right and i feel like i'm really good at bringing people together and creating a sense of family feeling right we had our holiday party yesterday at the office and it was just very cute and quaint and it was just us making vision boards and talking but it was it felt like family right and, and the agents loved it they appreciated that time to be together in our little home away from home um, I love that. So providing those opportunities. How about you, Christina? Well, I'm just going to tag on to this one <laughs> just one second because Elena is also really good at um, helping new agents and getting them off the ground. And she also is awesome at going to all the nighttime events that are past <laughs> my bedtime. <laughs> so, There's some honesty right, right? there. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate those things because there's, you know, there's so many moving parts to opening a brokerage and serving new agents. New agents are, you know, they take a lot of time and a lot of effort and we want to get them on the right path. And so thank God for Elena, you know, really handling that aspect. Mm -hmm. So I think what thank I bring you. to the table is um, I do a lot of business development 
partnerships, um, creating business where there may not have been business before yeah. and giving us different um, streams of revenue versus just 100% retail, retail, retail. And so um, I've been using my connections that I've formed over the last years. <laughs> um, and no. <laughs> yeah, shut up. She meant five years. She five did. Years. She said five. <laughs> so... Yes, and these fabulous ladies actually threw me a surprise birthday party when I turned earlier this year when I turned fifty. So it was freaking amazing. And she was actually surprised. I was actually surprised. I had no <laughs> Isn't that idea. Amazing. <laughs> no, I, it was in, at the end of July. I had no idea. I it was. It. We'll tell you the story after. It was amazing. It's because I'm really good at hosting events. Yeah. So there That's it is. Another, our strengths. Right. Another thing that Elena does. She likes to do the events. We just had the foreclosure event. The picturing prosperity. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So each of us kind of complement each other and take on different aspects of the of that full brokerage. So important, and I think you can tell that there's a there's a great communication among the three of you, uh, which is also very important. And you support each other in your roles, which is also important. I've been in relationships where I'm the Elena in the group, and then all of a sudden somebody wants to be the Ted in the group, but that's not their strength. And so the fact that you all recognize that with each other is really a beautiful thing. Tell me about uh, Global. So that's in your name, Exit Global Realty. Why Global? Why Global? Go Wendy. Yeah. Worldwide. Wendy. Worldwide. Wendy. Just come back from Australia. Worldwide. You are. So are. because <laughs> as we, as Christina said, we need multiple income streams. Well, sometimes, as we've just seen here recently, the market drops a little bit. Mm -hmm. Things aren't going as well. But if you go around the world anywhere and you're able to work with buyers and sellers, you can have an income stream that doesn't ever end. So I got into global two years ago, sort of on a whim. Um, Abdi, I was at a women's council event and Abdi was talking about going to Dubai. And I was like, well, wait, I want to know about that. And I ended up going. I love it. I knew no one in the global council. And when I got there, there was a few people that I did know, but I went and I decided I loved it. And why would we not do business with every country in the world when we can? I agree. So Absolutely. when we decided to do this with this brokerage, I was the first one to say, I think we should be exit global realty or global something, global in the name somehow. And I like short names. Yeah. So we, we, <laughs> we just, just threw global in there. That's good. <laughs> exactly. So I think it, it speaks to us. And we have a lot of agents who are. Oh, yeah. International agents. Various mm -hmm. countries. What do we have? Venezuela, Colombia, Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico where's that one? Colombia, um, how, China. It's so important, and especially in our market. Like in our market, if you're not thinking globally, I feel like you're missing out on a ton of fun. opportunity. We live in Orlando. I know. We are global. We are global. So what about the vision for 2024, right? We were just talking about it before we went live that we're all thinking about 2024. You guys are going to have a planning session. Yeah. Do you have a vision? And I imagine each of you has a, a vision for yourself and your business, but also the business overall. So mm -hmm. let's take that. I'll start with Christina in the back. Um, so my vision is, you know, which we are, we have a planning meeting at the end of the month. We're actually going away, away from everyone, everything. So we don't have, we're not interrupted constantly, um, and to, to work on what our 2024 is, but I, you know, I'm hoping, no, we will have enough agents which we already have 23 and we've been open for less than four months That's amazing uh that and another one just takes me on the way here and she's showing you. so we're going you know to take over additional space in our office um and so growing the bottom floor of our of our building um you know we'd like to be in the realm of 60 to 80 agents um by the end of next year I personally would like to stop selling real estate. <laughs> I get it. Only because I want, I just want to be able to support our agents and help them and make them successful because when they're successful, obviously the brokerage is successful. And so that's my goal. My goal as a realtor is to not sell anything. So I, I understand counterintuitive, that. but yeah. we want, you know, we don't want to be, you know, competing against our own agents. 
So actually, even now, we bring our agents on to everything that we get um, and just share with them. Um, because, you know, as they get more deals, they create momentum and that momentum helps push them forward. So that, that is our, our goal is to, at four months in, is to expand <laughs> Good. and not sell real estate. <laughs> I like the, the not sell real estate is such an honest answer. I love that. How about you, Elena? Yeah, no, I mean, right with everything she said, I, my passion is to serve. My passion is to educate, right? Educate and empower, inspire others. And I really just want to continue that. You know, I do get those one-on-ones. They come in, they don't know what they're doing or they know what they're doing, but they really don't know what they're doing. I agree. I know them well. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know them. Um, So just being able to help them shape their future, right? Write down their goals. You know, what can they do? We did some business planning already with them, right? Like being really intentional with like, okay, you want to make this much money? This is how many calls you need to make a week? How many uh, events, face-to-face, breaking breads, right? Like really breaking that down. So just being able to be able to do that because I want to travel all over the world. Right. And um, I want to be able to pick up my phone and be on Zoom and not in the office. Yeah. I Agreed. Office. Oh, they I gave like me that. the smallest yeah. office, so I'm going to make sure I'm not there. <laughs> so you're not there. Ted is actually it's not, not the smallest small I've office. actually seen it, so I, I know measured. it's BS. So no, it's all measured. right. We measured it. We but measured it. You had you also had the booze in it at your opening, I so I was yes. super happy about that. Yeah, that's why it seemed small because it was There were twenty five yeah. of us going. Please, ma'am, yeah. may I have another? Because I met <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm coming bottles. You were. That's why we were all standing I there. Actually, yeah. we did get a video because we did for. Did uh, you see it? Oh no, I wasn't there. No, I don't. Maybe I was. Yeah. yeah there were so many Maybe people. Literally oh, it went everywhere. Oh, that's awesome! Though. <laughs> that was I didn't see that video. Birthday. That's right. It was my birthday. I oh, forgot. My that's right. Birthday too. Yep, October fourth. That's when 4th. we did it. Yes, I was fifty then. Yes. Um, Wendy, you can claim, how it. About claim you? it. It's yours. Well, I was forty-five on my birthday. Oh, very nice. I knew you all were much younger yeah. than me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I also. I don't. I'm really actually not selling right now. Um, I don't want to have to sell anymore. I want to be able to do my international. Now I, I do still work the international side, at least until I can get some agents that will do it. But I, I want to help agents. I want to train agents to do the things I currently do so that I don't have to do those. Um, And I really, I honestly have a five-year plan. I would like to have a brokerage in Greece. Nice, but I would like it to be exit. So we're gonna Steve. We have to talk about that. This. <laughs> we'll tag I Steve. Give me his name. Steve Morris. Morris. Oh, that's Steve right. That's right. We'll tag Canada. you, Steve. He's in Canada. He's in Canada. So, but I I don't want to work in here. It's not. That's not why we did this. We didn't do this to work real estate. No, which is strange, right? No, actually, it makes perfect yeah. sense to me because yeah. I don't do what I do. Like I don't. I don't. You all know. I don't know what a ten o four is. I know it's a ten o three. Relax. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, I don't want to do that part of it. I like all of what you're talking about. That's my goal too. I yeah. mean, I love that that expansion because you put your time in. You've done it. Now you want to build your business around and and you want to. Uh, pour into people who are going to expand and grow your business. So it's a real business model that you all are talking about, not mm-hmm. just a realtor team kind of scenario. Exactly. This is real. And I love that about, about what you said, because it's so important because I think going into 2024, even though I feel really amazing about 2024, um, there's a 2023 left a lot of craziness for a lot of people. And so we're all looking to figure out how we can do uh, who was multiple streams of talking about money. That was Christina. Mm-hmm. Um, very important. So yeah. if you're listening to that, y'all should reach out to one of these ladies because yeah, they she's really good at that. It's very important. We're leaving a lot of money on the table. Um, Absolutely. So and let's Lynn and I both have backgrounds in education. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so, you know, and so it really and we both I mean, Wendy serves too. Uh, not to say that. <laughs> that's she when he says through that education, yeah. <laughs> but we we both it's have been shovel. Shovel. Elena was in higher education. I did K one special ed. So we both have you know this background in education, and just really, all three of us just have these serving serving hearts. We're all involved in different organizations. We're actually involved in an organization right now, Hearts, Hands, and Hope, which 
I love Eric. Right? Isn't he amazing? Awesome. amazing? He helps feed. So he's expanding his program. So it's not just feeding them. It's why are you hungry? Yeah. And so get helping them get jobs. But then we're going to come in on this side and help them stay in their homes. Nice. What What's the best option for you? Is it to remodify? Is it right. to sell? Is it to rent? Like, what's the best option for you? Because people get in their minds, especially mm -hmm. when they're in that situation of the prospect of losing their home. Yes. And I mean, I don't mind saying I personally have been in that situation many years ago. Mm -hmm. It's devastating. You feel like a failure as a human and, yeah. you and know, the stress you're and under. the stress. Mm -hmm. And so you don't always make the best decisions. So having a team of professionals that can help That's you awesome. get to that next step and make the better decision because selling isn't always the best decision. Correct. Mm -hmm. You know, remodifying isn't always the best decision, but helping them look at the full picture and deciding what that is. And so, yeah, I mean, that's a beautiful we're, thing. We're, I love we're, that. we're, we're, we're here. We're here for everyone. We're here for all of the homeowners. We want everyone to be a homeowner. Yep. Yep. I mean, they're 91% of the world's millionaires are created from real estate. So, I mean, Let's go. Let's go. All right. I love that, by the way. And let me know how I can help because I love Eric. He's been on the show a couple of times. Oh, He's yay. amazing. Uh, let's talk about 2023 as we wrap it up. Um, I'm going to I want to ask you what you're most grateful for uh, in 2023. It was a challenge for a lot of people. I think all of us had our ups and downs. It was mm -hmm. especially in our industry. Um, but tell me, I'll start with Elena. What, what are you most grateful for for 2023? I'm most grateful for these women for putting up for, with me. <laughs> There's some honesty right there. No, 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 no I'm just kidding. No, for real. I mean, Our, like it's been, it's been something, it's been a vision, a goal of mine for so many years, but I never had the courage to do it on my own. I never had the, the, you know, like the patience, the skill set. I don't have what they have. I couldn't do this alone. So I'm grateful that I met two women that can pick up my weaknesses <laughs> and fill in those that gaps. Is, that is right. So we all do that. And really like the three of us, we are able to attract so much more and so much greater, yes. right? And just really serve so in, at a greater capacity. So beautiful. I'm grateful for that because then the agents keep calling and coming. Yes. They're like, oh my gosh, I want to come to the hub. I right. want to come and see what's going on at the hub. And now not even agents what's just want to come. Elena? What's the hub? Oh the gosh, hub. what's the hub, Elena? So we have a meeting every Wednesday with our, our agents, followed with a lunch and learn with one of our supportive partners We're in the industry. Nice. Um, the hub is our cute little space where it's here you belong. It's very nice. I Gotta come it. check it out. Every here Wednesday you belong. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Every Wednesday, that's every awesome. Wednesday. Every Wednesday, it's amazing. Yeah, and it, it's filling, it's filling and filling, and they keep coming and coming. We need a bigger space, actually. We literally mm -hmm. we're already. outgrowing our seventeen hundred and fifty square feet. It's already. amazing, though. What a beautiful blessing that is for yeah. you guys. Absolutely, it's a good problem. It's a good problem. All right, Christina, tell us what what are you grateful for in twenty twenty three? Oh my gosh, um, I am grateful for. I mean, I've got a laundry list. I'm um, grateful for my most successful real estate year to date. Um, where other agents were struggling. I don't know. I've just been so blessed with some amazing buyers and sellers. Um, obviously grateful for the opportunity to hang with these ladies. And actually this is our second business together. Um, <laughs> so yes. we're, you know, we are just, I don't know, but somehow God is just like shining a light on us. We are on fire. Um, we have other things coming up in 24, um, but per, on a personal level, I'm just so, I'm grateful my daughter and my grandson are with me. Um, uh, yeah. I get to have Christmas with him. And um, I mean, I there's just every area of my life in 2023 has just been kissed, mm -hmm. kissed by God. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It, it really is. is. Mm -hmm. I'm so, I, I couldn't be happier. I, I literally, I told my boyfriend the other day, I was like, this is what happy feels like. <laughs> right? Because so many of us haven't experienced that joy. Yeah. yeah. And it is. Well, it's been just pure bliss. It's been a trying year. Yeah. That's it's definitely just pure bliss. That's awesome. I, I'm like, I, I don't think I've ever had it before. But I love that you're grateful for that and you recognize it. Absolutely. So those blessings will continue. And... It's a different internal feeling. Yeah. It's Diff totally you know? different. How about you, Wendy? I am obviously grateful for these two ladies because 
for the record, without them, I couldn't do this. This is a lot. I don't know how people do this as one person. No right. Um, but per, on a personal level, I am going to cry. Okay. <laughs> really grateful for the time I had with my dad okay. and that I got to be there with him. I got to have him tell me he loved me right before he died. I'm really, really grateful for that. I did not intend to cry. <laughs> I mean, 2023, um, year of reflection. It's, it's um, okay. you know, I, my best friend and I joke that that we're orphans now. Yeah. Um, Because we don't have any parents left. But these ladies fill a gap. They fill a gap. I think you're going to make they, me cry. They, well, you're going to make me <laughs> cry, too. So. I no, no intention. Okay. I'm the crybaby. No, I'm um, definitely in the cry session. But I, I'm grateful that you know I could have been, I could have been too busy at work. I could have had business partners who said, "Oh, well, you can't leave." Right. But I didn't. I was, I was at the hospital and at home with my dad for the whole week before he died. I, they took over, and we literally opened when my dad went to the hospital. The day he went to the hospital, we opened. And they still had my back and let me be with my dad. Absolutely. So I am very, no very grateful for that. No question. That's Thank how you. that's how we that's how we all are. You gotta take something to care of your family, you gotta take care of something at home, you go do it. Yep. Whatever so it's it is. It's a rare partnership that you all have because yep. that's not out there a lot. People say it is, but Honestly, for you to express that, thank you, Wendy, because that's that's what Sorry, I, didn't I love it. Cry. No, I'm still I got the one tear coming down the eye. You can't see it, but it's there. Um, thank you for sharing that. And thank you, guys. I mean, I, I loved this. I love that you shared your journey with everybody. And I want people to reach out to you. Uh, so what's the best way for them to find you? If you can give your personal stuff, I have the website scrolling across the bottom. You can do whatever you'd like. Mm -hmm. So, Elena Rivera, I'm my realtor, Elena, with Exit Global Realty. We have our Instagram, Facebook, Exit Global Realty. Um, we all have our individual Facebook business pages as well. But yeah, Elena Rivera, uh, my realtor, Elena, is my handle. And 407-801-8219 uh, is my direct sale. Christina. Christina at ExitGlobalRealty.com all day long. All day long. How about all you, Wendy? Long. I am Wendy at ExitGlobalRealty.com. And then the easiest thing is text GLOBAL to 85377. Goes right to our it. website. And that's why she's we'll in the details. The details. <laughs> we'll reach out. It might be Elena Sarah Ariana that reaches out, but one of us will reach yes. out to you. Yeah, we're, I mean, like, we're um, be, Elena's daughter, Ariana, she's our admin at yes. our office. So she's I amazing. Say, I didn't get to yeah. share she that as being grateful. Fabulous. Um, I'm grateful for my daughter to pick up where we can't. Pick yeah, up, especially yeah. Myself, she's amazing. Everything. And There's she's no way. Get her she's a godsend. Oh, congratulations! Yes. Uh, when <laughs> she was trying to set this up, we we must have gone back and forth thirty times yep. uh, because trying to, trying to get y'all trying to coordinate. And I get schedule. it. And she was just lovely and patient and positive. Yeah, she so just laughed about it. Kudos to her. <laughs> she's like, Mom, what? You're I'm getting in to see Ted this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We made it happen. All right. God bless you all. I appreciate your you. friendship so much. Thank, thank Merry you. Merry Christmas. Thank Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Um, Y'all reach out to Elena and Christina 